Hey, so we're going to do an educational video on pyloric stenosis. This young man here is unique in that he is only 13 days old and has clearly diagnosed pyloric stenosis on, on ultrasound. The other thing that's unique about him is that the strong family history. And I was going to ask mom if she would just tell us who in the family has had pyloric stenosis. My brother's had it in my immediate family and then um, my mom's siblings have had children with it. I think we've had three. Three of my cousins have also okay. had it. So it's really run strong mm -hmm. in your family. Good. It's a little boy mm -hmm. and we know that there's about a four to one, six to one frequency of males to females as far as the onset of pyloric stenosis. Is he your firstborn? Mm -hmm. Okay. And it tends to run that way too. He had one episode of vomiting. What day was that? That was Friday night. Friday night and today's Sunday. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what happened after that? He drank two bottles throughout the night Friday and did fine. And then Saturday morning around 9, we gave him another bottle. And then all day Saturday, he threw up every single bottle. Okay. Mostly right after he drank them. And you said at the other hospital that there was a suspicion that they actually felt the olive. Yeah, uh, the, the palpable the doctor olive. there yeah. said that he felt it. And that was the first baby he's felt it on. Yeah, okay. So it's a right upper quadrant kind of a mass, a palpable mass that you sometimes see, and that's what's called the olive. And um, a lot of times these kids will, will have a hypochloremic metabolic alkalosis with hypokalemia you know, too from all the vomiting. But we don't see that as much anymore because it gets diagnosed so fast, just like he was diagnosed so fast. It's those kids that have gone on for weeks of vomiting. That's where you start to see the electrolyte abnormalities. And um, But again, I thought was was interesting on, um, and it worth the video, is that here's a 13-day-old that has confirmed pyloric stenosis, and then it comes from a very strong family history. So mom and dad knew exactly what to be thinking about when he started having the projectile vomiting. Can you describe the vomiting that he was doing? Um, it was normally immediately after, and we'd set him up to burp, and as soon as we'd set him up, I mean, it would go like probably at least a foot, two feet. Just yeah, yeah. Straight out, and it was all formula. Okay. It was all, all right. the milk and um, no color or anything, just the milk. Okay. Do you have anything you'd want to tell um, other parents who are dealing with pyloric stenosis or um, any any thoughts, anything that you've learned just in a very short time? Um, I guess go to the hospital. I wasn't going to take him right away, but um, after a day of him vomiting, my fiance talked me into going, and I'm glad we went now. Yeah, yeah. So don't wait. Yeah. I mean, we waited just long enough to make sure it wasn't just that one occurrence, but... Yeah. Definitely, I'm glad we didn't wait long enough to get his electrolytes out there. Yeah, stuff. yeah, exactly. Sometimes a diagnosis is equivocal, and sometimes it does mean a couple of visits to the ER, a couple uh, repeat ultrasounds, so tell people not to be discouraged. Yeah, too, I think so. my brother was over a week. They over a week it. before they diagnosed it, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, that was many years ago, so it's gotten yeah, yeah. better now. But. Yeah, well, thank you so much for letting us do this video, and I appreciate it.